right, begin. What's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are happy and healthy today. That's the most important thing. Now, before I get started, I want to ask you guys a favor. If you don't mind, go ahead and punch that like button and also smash that share button so we can get this channel recognized, you dig? And if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow there at NCTubTV so that we can stay connected. Now, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get down to business because y'all, Kimora Simmons, the ex-wife of Russell Simmons, she's found herself in some knee-deep shit. So Kimora's current husband, Tim Lesnar, even though they're estranged at this particular moment, admitted under oath today that he's been posing as his ex-wife, Judy Chan, to convince Kimora that he still wasn't married to her. Good lord. Now, this dude, Tim Lesnar, is a bit problematic. And as a matter of fact, I did a video about nine months ago telling y'all about the situation that transpired between Kimora and her ex-husband, Russell Simmons. So Russell Simmons you know, had to sue his ex-wife because they're still in business together, even though they're divorced. And so what happened was Tim got caught laundering money from the bank. And so once he got caught, right, he had to get those lawyers and those lawyer fees added up. So what Kamora did, she started stealing millions of dollars from the businesses that she owned with Russell. And basically Russell caught on to it and sued her. Now, what I want to do right here is implement a little portion of a clip from the video that I did nine months ago talking about this whole money laundering situation. And so it's only two minutes long, so sit tight and I'll be right back. So today we're going to talk about Russell Simmons suing his ex-wife and Kamora Lee Simmons for allegedly stealing stocks to pay her current husband's bail fees. Crazy, right? And so Russell had no inclination that this was going on until his accountant noticed that there were suspicious transactions that was going down within his business account. So the word is Russell tried to handle this behind the scenes like grownups and come to some type of agreement, but Kamora nor her current husband would comply. So now Russell is suing for $44 million. And ironically, that is how much it took to keep Kamora's current husband out of jail in 2018 he pleaded guilty to money laundering. So I guess Kamora loved that man so much that she decided to steal from her ex-husband. And now Russell is like, yo, I know I put you through a lot of stuff, but right now, give me my gut money. Now, $44 million, that's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. So I expect this to get super messy. So guys, I want to read to you all real quick what People Magazine had to say about this situation. I'm just going to read a snippet. All right, it says, Russell Simmons is suing his ex-wife, Kamora Lee Simmons, and her current husband, Tim Lesnar. In a complaint filed earlier this week and obtained by People, Simmons, who is 63, alleged that Lee, who is 46, and Lesnar, who is 49, conspired to make a fraudulent transfer of Simmons' nearly 4 million shares of energy drink company Celsius in order to pay for Lesnar's legal and bail fees related to a 2018 money laundering case so this dude tim had kimura out here looking extra goofy right had her under his spell had her stealing money from her ex-husband to pay for his legal fees and his bail fees now in all actuality what kimura should have done instead of trying to steal from her ex-husband to pay his legal fees she should have been running to the divorce lawyers at that particular time because if he's laundering money from a bank what makes you think that he won't steal from you see when you do clownery the clown comes back to bite. So it says here, Kimora Lee Simmons, estranged husband, ex Goldman Sachs banker, Tim Lesnar, testified he posed as his ex wife online to spin a web of lies, including convincing Kimora he wasn't still a married man when they met. Tim testified under oath Tuesday he pretended for years to be his then wife, Chinese heiress Judy Chan, and sent fake emails to his future wife, Kimora when they begin their relationship. It's pretty wild. Tim admitted he created a fake email account to pose as Chan in order to woo Kimora, using it to convince her he was already divorced from Chan. Tim apparently did a great job posing as his then wife because the emails presented in court reportedly show Kimora invited Chan and her kids on multiple family vacations, which Tim posing as Chan declined. 
Kim Moore and Tim tied the knot back in 2014, and he also admitted in court to faking divorce documents in order to marry Kim Moore when he was still married to Chan, whose family is said to own the top winery in China and coal mining business. The bombshell testimony is part of an ongoing embezzlement trial of Tim's former Goldman Sachs colleague, Roger, which Tim also testified he used a fake email account to pose as his then wife in conversations with Malaysian financer Ho Lo. I hope I'm saying that right. But anyway, who has been separately charged with laundering billions of dollars, among other things. It's unclear if Kimura found out about Tim's fake emails before he took the stand, but her lawyers reportedly say she and Tim are now estranged. Yo, I'm at a loss for words. You know what I'm saying? Like, this has to be extremely humiliating for Kimura. Really, extremely embarrassing. I mean, yo, you want to talk about getting played? Yo, for real, for real, like, I wouldn't come outside for a couple of years if I was Kimura. I mean, he really did a number on you, baby girl, really did a number on you. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let this go right here. I want you guys to drop down and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.